Welcome back to the Venom Workshop. So today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to change the front tire um, on this um, 1000 watt e-racer. It's, uh, this is the American version. So if uh, you're looking in, if you're thinking, eh, this doesn't look like my 1000 watt, this is actually the, the American one. So I'm gonna show you uh, how to take the front tire off and we're gonna change it. And uh, so I'm gonna get started right away. I'm just gonna get uh, something to put the ATV up on while I change the front tire. I'm gonna use uh, my little stand here, but you can use anything you want, a little wood box, uh, something like that. And uh, we're gonna get started. Okay, so I got my little stand here. So we're just gonna lift that up and we're gonna get that front wheel off the ground. Now you're going to need a 19 mil socket and a ratchet, obviously. You're not gonna start cranking on that with your hands. So we're gonna just go ahead and like that. And you'll notice that there's not cotter pin on this or anything. This is actually a locking nut and that's a lock washer. We'll leave those both off now and start pulling on the wheel a little bit. Ooh, that's very, very tight. Oh, I see. Okay, so on this model, I'm gonna have to also remove the brake. It's not a big deal. So right down here is our brake caliper and we're gonna have to remove this bolt and this bolt right where? Right there. Uh, we're gonna take those both off because <clears throat> this rotor right here is mounted on the rim. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take this off and then uh, So this is a number five Allen key. There we go. So I just wanted to loosen them enough that I could take them off by hand. Here we go. Now we can just pull that off like that. We'll just let it hang down to the side. <clears throat> now we can go ahead and pull our tire off like that. Now, if you you get a rim from us on tire, it's gonna come like this. The rotor is not gonna be on it, but the mount is. So I think this is a number four, yeah. So you're gonna have to take the rotor off and switch it to the other tire. So take the rotor off, you're gonna use a number four. And these are gonna be stiff, and they're gonna be stiff on purpose. They're gonna use Loctite on those from the factory, so they're always really tight. There we go. There we go. And then we'll get these off. Okay, and then you would just take your other tire, bring your new tire, take your rotor, just like that. And then we're gonna put our three bolts back in. 
don't tighten that one all the way down on per like right away it's just pointless make sure you get your other ones in first just like that and we can tighten them up and you want to tighten these enough that they're tight but not that you strip the bolt or strip the where your uh, Allen key goes in. There we go. Now our tire can go back on. And if you're trying to put it on and you have a hard time, just kind of wiggle it back and forth. <clears throat> There's a little spacer in there and you just got to work the axle on it. talking about so inside here there's a little spacer so if you have a hard time just kind of wiggle the tire like that and it will move on now that we've got that on we can come ahead and put our brake caliper back on and what you want to do is you want to slip the two pads here between that disc so you put the disc between it sorry you want to put the pads on either side of the disc and then start your first bolt at the top don't tighten it too tight leave it so you can move it back and forth you want to be able to move it a bit so that you can put your bottom bolt in then I'm just going to tighten these up with my fingers Now you need your number five Allen key to tighten these up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, now I'll tighten that one up. Nice. Okay, now we're just going to turn our tire out. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our lock washer like this. Go ahead and slip it on. And we're going to slip on the nut. Get our 19 mil socket. Again, you just want to give it a tighten to make sure that your lock washer is uh, nice and squeezed down. But don't haul on it with a pipe or nothing it's so tight that you'll never get it off again. Just give it a good snug, and that's it. And that's it, guys. So that is how you change the front tire on your 1,000-watt eraser. Uh, definitely like and subscribe, guys. We love that stuff. And uh, leave some comments. We love uh, seeing you in the comments.